Hey guys, for Shree Star here, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and activate your iPad Air 5th generation if it's your very first time. So let's get started. As you can see here, I have the iPad Air here, and first thing is we want to go ahead and power it on by pressing and holding this top button right here, which is the power button. And once I do that, I should see here the Apple logo reappear, then I let go of that button, and it's starting to turn on for us. So once it turns on, we're going to get to the main screen and then set everything up so we can get to the home screen. You should see a menu screen like this. If not, something like that where it says hello. Swipe up and then you get to the screen here. Select your language and then the region that you're in. And then you're going to hit that quick setup manually. And now the first thing you need to do is connect to Wi-Fi if your iPad is Wi-Fi only. If your is a cellular data one you can use cellular data or you can connect it to your Mac or PC if you don't have Wi-Fi in your area so I'll select here my Wi-Fi I'm gonna enter my password really quick here so once I enter my password I hit the join here and then it will start loading and it says a few minutes to activate but this is really quick and after I have uh, done that, connected to Wi-Fi or connected to a PC or Mac, I wait for it because it will need internet no matter what. And then I get this data and privacy, which is Apple's information. You can learn about it or just hit continue. And then Touch ID. You want to set up your Touch ID because the iPad Air 5th generation comes with Touch ID here. So you want to keep on laying your finger, as you can see here, different ways so that you can use the Touch ID to unlock and lock your iPad. So you want to do that. But for our purposes, I'm just going to skip through that for now. And then you do want to set it up. And then you want to put in a passcode for your iPad. So the passcode here, you can select to have the six digit or four digit or a custom numerical, alpha numerical one. So I'm going to just use any random one. but. I'm just going to use a really super simple one, but I don't recommend using this one. So make sure you pick something that's, you know, strong passcode so that no one can log into your iPad without you. Now, the next step here is about apps and data. So if you have an old iPad that you're transferring your information over, or if you have an iCloud account already and you want to back things up from your iCloud, you can simply use your iCloud backup to get that data. You can get it from your PC or Mac or transfer directly from another iPad or if you have data from your Android phone or Android device you can move that over or you can simply choose not to do any of that if you want a clean slate iPad which we'll do here it's not going to do any of that now the next thing you want to do here is sign into your Apple ID if you have an existing Apple ID if you don't have one you can create one for free as well by clicking on this don't have and you can create a free one by following the this prompt when you click on that it will walk you through the steps like entering your name and your other information or you can always come back to the setting and sign in but it's important that you have an Apple ID in order to pretty much do anything like downloading apps making uh, I using iMessages using FaceTime all of Apple services requires the Apple ID for our purposes we're just going to simply skip that for now here but you do want to sign in and then you get this terms and condition. We hit agree here. Now this is saying to keep your iPad up to date, you're, it's gonna automatically update the iOS. So we're just gonna hit continue. Location services, of course you wanna turn this on so that you can use some of the features, whatever the case, or you can keep it disabled and then turn it back up in the settings. I'll hit enable. Siri, you wanna activate Siri. So if you wanna use the voice assistant to say, hey Siri to do things, you wanna hit continue here and then it's gonna, uh, allow you to choose a voice so you can see here Hi, you can Hi, you can choose one or have them choose Hi, one for me hit next and then you want to say the five commands for Siri so it recognizes your voice so I'm gonna say hey Siri hey Siri send a message hey Siri how's the weather today hey Siri set a timer for three minutes Sometimes it might not recognize you have to say it again. Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. 
So these five commands let Siri know your voice so that it can respond to your voice when it recognizes. And I hit continue after, and then this message that you get is improved Siri dictation. If you want to share your audio recording, I generally don't, but that's up to you. Screen time is a weekly report that you can get if you enable this feature that allows you to see how much time you're spending on different apps. Personal preference if you want to use it, I usually don't, so I'll hit set up later. All of these settings can be set up later. And then Apple iPad analytics, if you want to share these uh, data around the, to improve Apple services, I usually don't, but that's up to you. And then you can choose the appearance, whether you want the light or the dark, or you can have it in the settings where it picks between midnight to from sunset to sunrise. You can also set that up in the setting. And then finally, get started, and we are on our iPad, ready to go, and we can start downloading apps and then start using it right away. So that's how you activate iPad Air 5th generation. Hopefully this video was helpful. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.